What's up guys? Exciting things have been going on lately. We just wrapped up No Shave November a couple weeks ago. We ended up raising $605 for prostate cancer awareness. And last week, we just got back from the Take Ownership Founders Mastermind out in New Jersey. So in this video, we're just going to give you guys the number one takeaway that we had from that event. This event was different than anything that we've gone to before. It was kind of a mixture of motivation, knowledge, and networking. The first day was pretty much the motivational day where we got our minds right and kind of set the stage for how that weekend was going to go. We heard from Peter Vug, we heard from Eric Thomas, and... We did some meditation stuff and it was just a really good time to get set for the next day. And so the next day was the day where we were actually gaining specific knowledge on marketing and entrepreneurship and business and these different things. All of that was cool. The biggest takeaway that we had personally was this one thing and that's proximity is power. We'd heard that so much from Tony Robbins. He had said proximity is power, it'll change your life and we could think through it, like we could conceptualize what that meant, that yeah, if you get in proximity with someone who's powerful or someone who has influence or a mentor, then you can form a real life relationship and then benefit them and they can benefit you. And we understood that, but it never really sunk in on a deep level until we got out there to that mastermind event and started doing it in real life. For those of you that grew up with us, or you've known us for a long time, you know that we used to be really introverted. We weren't always the most outgoing kids. We were usually pretty shy and reserved and just didn't like going and introducing ourselves to people and talking with people we didn't really know. And so going out to this event, it definitely stretched us, got us out of our comfort zone. And once we got out there, we realized it's totally worth it. Um, getting out of your comfort zone and going and, and just meeting these people that are like us, they think like us, and um, they're people that are aiming to make impact and they're aiming at similar goals. It was just totally worth getting around them. So our number one goal going out to founders was to, to meet and start building a relationship with this guy named Gerard Adams. A little bit of background about him. Um, he built up and sold a publishing company over the course of four years called Elite Daily and he sold it for $50 million and now he's building his new company, Founders. And so we wanted to get in proximity of him and start building that relationship because he aligns with our values. Um, he shares a similar vision to us and really just we're all in it for the impact. Gerard was really busy. He was running the event. He was constantly like talking with all the people there. And so after about a day and a half, we still hadn't introduced ourselves and we were starting to kind of get scared. We thought we were going to lose our shot because we were just waiting around, waiting for the perfect opportunity so we could go and talk with them. We got to a point where he said, screw it. If there was an open opportunity, he was standing around and no one was talking to him. We were going to jump in and introduce ourselves. We had just gotten done with a couple sessions. We were getting ready to go to lunch and we saw Gerard standing at the doorway. So we just went and introduced ourselves. And because we were in proximity, we started talking about his vision and how that connected with an entrepreneur back home in Coeur d'Alene, the AI hub of the world, how mm. there was someone up there whose vision aligned with him and that we wanted to connect him. And we just led with trying to add value to him and just trying to just be our authentic selves. And because we were there in person, we were able to really build that relationship on a good note. And he ended up giving us his number, said he wanted to come out to Idaho and connect with us more and just start working together. And so it really blew our minds. That, that's when it literally hit us how powerful it was to literally get in proximity of these people. That's the number one takeaway that proximity is really power. And so I know that we're going to be doing a lot more networking. We're going to get around a lot more people in 2018 because that is that's giving us huge momentum. And so if you guys are trying to achieve something or whatever it is you're working towards, if you want to get around these people who think like you think, they're going to help you get to where you want to be a lot faster. And so proximity allows you to build that real relationship and actually have a meaningful relationship rather than just something that's just on the internet, something that you detach from. It can actually become real. And so get in proximity of people. All right. Thanks guys. See you on the next one. Peace.